Hey everyone, Rose here, and I made a cute sculpt for Halloween. I've been using ZBrush for quite a few of my recent sculpts, but for this one I decided to just stick to Blender. That being said, I'm using the alpha version of Blender because I want to use the sculpt mode vertex paint tools and those aren't accessible in the default version. In order to access those tools, you have to go into your preferences, then under interface, turn on the developer extras, then you'll find a new experimental tab and there you can turn on sculpt mode vertex colors. You might have to click on it on and off a couple of times before they show up, but eventually you'll see a couple of new tools in scope mode. And with that all set up, on to the time lapse. I'm still a little bit sick, so I'm not going to be narrating the whole thing. But before I leave you to just the music, a couple of important points about my workflow. There are a couple of questions that I've gotten a lot on some of my other sculpting videos. They're usually about how I manage my resolution if I'm not using dynamic topology or multi-res, and about how I merge objects together and like keep smooth transitions without using booleans. And the answer for both of them is the remesher. If you press Shift and R in sculpt mode, you'll get a grid showing you the resolution of your remesher and allowing you to adjust it. And once you're happy with the resolution you've gotten, you can press Ctrl and R to remesh your object. That covers your whole object in a new surface of the resolution that you set, and it automatically merges together any objects that were overlapping or really close together. That allows you to easily join together objects and create smooth transitions, and it also means you can gradually take up the resolution of your mesh without using something like dynamic topology, which tends to slow everything down a little bit and the more uniform resolution makes it easier to keep stuff smooth. Anyway, that's been all from me for today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the time lapse. If you have any other questions about my process in this video, feel free to leave those in the comments below, or check out some of my other sculpting videos where I explain my workflow a bit more. With that all being said, I hope you guys enjoy the music, and see you all at the end.
And here's the final sculpt. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's really nice and cute and kind of Halloween-y, but not particularly spooky. I've been using ZBrush for a lot of my sculpting work recently, so it was fun to go back to just sculpting in Blender for a piece. Though I must say it did get a bit slow, especially as I got to higher poly counts and I missed some of ZBrush's features like the zero measure and stuff like that. But still, for smaller stylized sculpts like this, Blender is still very much enough. Anyway, that's been all for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Also, take a look down in the description and maybe follow me on some of my other social media or join the Discord server. With that all being said, happy Halloween and see you all next time.